President Muhammad Buhari says some people hide under the canopy of religion to advance their economic and political agenda and continuous education is needed so that the larger populace would not be hoodwinked. The president spoke at a Nukakot Moritana on Tuesday while meeting with Rashad Hussein, United States Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom, recounting his private meeting with the House with former President Donald Trump. The Nigerian leader recalls Trump asking him, Why are you killing Christians in Nigeria? and how he proceeded to tell him that the issue in the country was not religious but rather criminal and he used siege of religion by some elements to further their economic and sentiment political interests. It is a problem Nigeria has been struggling with for a long time and it is completely unnecessary. President Buhari said some people use religion as sentiment but with adequate education, people are seeing through it now. Majority of the people just want to practice their religion without problem. But some people cash in on religious misunderstanding for their own ends. When people are educated, they are able to discern when others want to use religion for certain ends. They do it mostly for material reasons. Also, when some people are important, are incompetent they bring in all sorts of excuses including religion ambassador hussein said the united states of america is interested in partnering with nigeria in the areas of former and non-former education towards religious harmony there's so much we can do together to promote peace promote communal harmony we love what you are doing and we would be glad to assist as appropriate he said this is coming from Femi Additional, who said Buhari to have said. <laughs> if I tell these people, we, until we see a, a, the right person that will be president, all this one that we are seeing eh, across the African continent, honestly, they are, just, they are just blabbing. Believe you me, all what they have said here, eh, it will end there. This one say we want to partner with this, we want to partner. It will end there, nothing will be done. And when Buhari was telling us that uh, the question of what he answered Donald Trump, since then, as he stopped, the why is it that you have not apprehended those people? As he stopped, when the issue of Deborah came up, what did you do? Did you say anything? Now, before he left, about uh, 30 something people were abducted in his own state. What did he do? Nothing. Or what is he going to do? He's not going to do anything. So, all this uh, meeting and whatever, they are just. They're just enjoying themselves, paying themselves all manner of allowances and what have you. All those statements will end there. All this communication or whatever they made there, it will end there. Nothing will happen. You see that the problem will keep on escalating. I would have liked to read the reply of the president. multi millionaire question that Buhari can, can't borrow the answer like foreign days. Who is killing Christian and where in Nigeria? Okay, somebody is asking the question and some people are answering. In Niger, Kaduna and so, why did you forget so soon? Why did you forget so soon? Okay, all of us, we are suffering in the hands of these wicked politicians. Christians clamoring for Muslim, Muslim uh, tickets. I pity the most. Yes, I see it as a payback time for those northern Christians that voted Jonathan out. Trump, you are a true man of God for this statement. How I wish he was still the president in USA. Not only Christians are involved in, even Muslims are involved. Then why is it that uh, the key, the thing keeps on escalating when we have somebody who is being heavily paid to do the work, he's not doing it, telling us cock and boo stories. Everybody is important, whether you are a whatever, what, in as much irrespective of the area or the religion you, you've you, you've accepted God created you. Nobody has the right to take another person's life. All this issue of a religion, this and that. But at the end of the day, people are dying. What has been done? What are the things being done to stop all these things? That is what we are talking about. Both politically, structurally, it has been 
bias to Christians. Trump, my man, for this your question alone, I wish you victory in the forthcoming presidential election next year. Good question. Any insurgency that lasted more than 24 hours, the government of the day shall be held responsible for it, according to late General Sonny Abacha. Ababa, General Muhammad Buhari, old Nigerians, many explanations concerning the hardship and insurgency under his watch. I call him in peace. He will tell you that he has done so much. He has answered the questions. That, so what do you ask? So you, you deal with whatever that comes out of it or whatever you are experiencing. Christians not killed until after mistakenly voting APC party under presidential. Dear Christians, who now see one vote for APC Muslim tickets. May they ask him well, Mr. Nonchalant. Ask him again, please. This is pure propaganda, but it's beyond both persons here to have asked these questions, especially Trump. You think so? Mm-hmm. Hmm. The worst part of it is that they will tell you that say uh, everything is fine, everything is this, everything is that. And like they always say, is he that has here, let him hear what if they cannot hear the spirits, at least they can see what is happening around them. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.